hello today i was making this for myself for breakfast and i decided i would share it with you i am a huge fan of the starbucks sous vide eggs and um, this is a quick little recipe of how to make them yourself if you have a, an instant pot um so here goes the, the ingredients are really simple um i've got three eggs some crumbled up bacon I think those are about four slices of bacon. Um, a quarter of a cup of coconut milk. Um, you can use heavy cream. I happen to have coconut milk today, so that's what I'm using. And a cup of your favorite cheese. I have mozzarella in there, but you can use cheddar or anything else that you like. Um, the cup of water is for the Instant Pot. You need that to steam it. And then I have this little silicone mold that I got at Amazon probably. I've had it forever um, to make the, the little molds. Um, so we're gonna get this started. I'm gonna spray my little egg molds with uh, some cooking spray just so they don't stick. Um, we're gonna add our water to the Instant Pot. And I've got the little, um, what do you call this, trivet in there to kind of keep it elevated off the water. Okay, and then we're going to add all of our ingredients to a blender. Okay, I forgot to say you do not add the bacon to the blender. And the bacon's going to go on the bottom of each of these things, so you're going to equally distribute these to the bottom of the molds. But here are my three eggs and my cream or coconut milk, whatever you have, my cheese, and I'm going to just zap them in my Nutribullet because it's my favorite thing. <laughs> Um, if you don't like bacon and you want ham instead, you can add some chopped ham or some pepperoni, whatever you like. If you like spinach in yours, obviously you can get some spinach and put that in there. I would probably saute the spinach or use frozen spinach, um, but there you go. The, sp the uh, bacon's on the bottom now, and we're going to zap this real quick. I've made this a bunch of times and sometimes I'll zap it and I call it zap it but you're blending it for a few minutes or a few seconds I should say depending on how chunky you want um, if you want little chunks of cheese in yours um, then do it for less I like it a little smoother I have found all right so I took a spoon and I evenly distributed them because I overfilled some of them and then I didn't have enough for all of them. <laughs> so um, you could also make this with four eggs and that would completely fill all of them evenly. Um, but this is going to be good enough. They're going to rise as they cook um, and this will make them a, a good size. Um, like I said, you can add another egg or you can take a spoon like I did and just spread it around so that it's, they're pretty even. And we're gonna put these in the instant pot now. Okay, there they are. They're sitting on top of the trivet. And you see this little mold fit, fits perfectly in an instant pot. Um, I think this is a seven quart, what I have. I don't remember, I've got it so long ago. <laughs> um, but um, you see there's plenty of space, even if you had a smaller pot, instant pot. So now we're going to put the cover on it and we're going to uh, set this to steam. You see that I've got it unventing right now. We're going to set it to sealing and then we're going to steam it for eight minutes and it'll start on its own. And then once that's done, 
We're gonna let it natural release for 10 minutes and then we'll take them out. All right, my timer just went off and now we're going to let it sit for 10 minutes on slow release before we get them out of here. All right, it's time to take these out. They are nice and fluffy. Now I gotta get these out of here very carefully. All right, so here they are. I used my silicone gloves to get them out because it's very hot, even though they've been sitting in there for 10 minutes. Um, you can also buy one of those sling things that you can put underneath your pots um, to pull it out. I don't have one, so this is what <laughs> I gotta do. So now they're ready to eat. They're gonna deflate a little bit as they sit uh, because of the pressure that they were under um, but they're pretty much ready to go um, so I'll show you what they look like out of the mold okay so there they are I just use a fork to gently get them out as you, as you see they come out pretty easy oops they come out pretty easy because we sprayed this down um, so that's what they look like See what they look like inside. They're nice and fluffy, cooked all the way. You can see the bacon disperse itself throughout the egg. So there you go. Quick and easy. I'll put um, the ingredients here and as well as the macros for anyone that's on keto or low carb. These are a really good snack, a really good breakfast, and uh, quick and easy to make. Very few ingredients. So I hope you give these a try. Thank you.